This is based off Anna White's Rustic X furniture design. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find plans for this. One of the ways I deviated is instead of getting 2x4s for the legs, 2x2s for a lot of the other construction, as well as some 2x1s, I just bought some 2x6s and then ripped everything out of that because I have a table saw. If you have a table saw, that'll be a little bit cheaper, and then you won't have to worry about having the rounded over edges and everything will have square edges. But if you don't, then you can just follow the plans and buy 2x4, 2x2, 2x1s and be able to turn out basically the same bookshelf. Now because my lumber ended up being a little bit smaller, I shrunk the dimension some. So mine is 32 inches wide instead of whatever the call, plans called for and slightly narrower at 17 and 3 quarter inches instead of 18 inches. Now I ended up making both of these out of I believe 7 or 8 sticks of two, 8 foot lengths of 2x6 and one sheet of half inch plywood. Between the 2x6s, the sheet of plywood, and the pocket hole screws, my material expense was around $60. I'm not including the cost of finishing because there's so many different ways to finish this, from poly, to paint, to staining, to lacquer, or burning, or whatever you want to do, those all carry and carry a very different cost, so I'm not including that. But just for the materials, you're looking at $65 for a set of two. Um, one will not be half of that because some of those things are a lot cheaper bought in bulk, so you can get out better if you buy enough to make two than if you just buy one, but that's always an option.
So as you saw, I made all the cuts using just my table saw and chop saw. But if you don't have those, you could do all of it with just a circular saw if you bought all the 2x4s, 2x2s, 2x1s you needed instead of ripping everything out of 2x6s. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and consider subscribing. Also, I recently opened a Patreon page, so if you really enjoyed it, please consider becoming a patron that helps offset the cost of creating this content, but no pressure. Thank you.